Okay, this is a micro reader. It's made by ERA or ERA. And I've had the thing for many years, not used it very much at all, in fact. So let's uh, unbox it. Um, warning there saying don't plug it into the mains directly. It needs a DC adapter. And in the box we've got a sample tape, which is very useful. I'm going to be using that in this demonstration. It's got CW on one side and RITI on the other. RITI is radio teletype. And there's a nice little plastic bound manual there, telling you how to set the thing up and use it. But a lot of the instructions are actually given on the tape, uh, which you sort of run and then that helps you set up the device. Yes, thank you very much. There we are. So here's the unit itself. It's got um, bound in cables for uh, the DC power supply. It takes somewhere between something like 10 and 16 volts. It's nominally a 12 volt supply. I guess people would have that in the radio shack. I'm going to use an external adapter for that. So the whole thing is controlled by that just that one knob on the front of uh, the unit. And we've got a 3.5mm uh, mono jack-to-jack -jack lead there for connecting it in line with the loudspeaker of the radio set. This assumes that you don't have access to a line output, but it does mean it's pretty insensitive, and even with the gain turned up full, you just really can't run this off the line output of a cassette deck or anything like that. View angle control just simply controls the contrast of the liquid crystal display on the front of the unit. I've never implemented the RS-232 output, but that would uh, theoretically give you the ability to log whatever's being displayed on the front. And of course there's a 12 volt DC input, uh, there's an on-off switch to isolate that. Now just to make it clear, I've done this demonstration just using the cassette that came with the uh, unit and uh, it gave such a low output level that I've actually recorded it onto a computer and I'm playing it out from that. Of course it's much more a flexible way of uh, keeping repeating sections until you've got the unit tuned up. And here's the front panel, as you see the single control knob there uh, with several positions to it and uh, that's all you need to set this unit up. It's pretty essential to use the tape that comes with this thing because it's got uh, quite good instructions by a chap called Bill I believe who uh, tells you how to set the thing up for the various different modes and I'll uh, we'll just have a little couple of words from him as he's introducing the CW decoding. The colored bar graph at the top left is used to indicate the exact frequency of the incoming signal. It does this by measuring every individual cycle of the audio, then calculates which lamp to turn on. The filters in the mic reader have been peaked for best performance when the green lamp is on. This target frequency is 1275 Hz. Now another benefit of using the computer to play back the tape was that I had to adjust the speed of the playback uh, to get the frequency right and uh, hit the center frequency of the display. So here are some excerpts of the tape uh, showing the micro reader doing its thing. Mm. 